Yes, I am an anarchist. And no, I did not ever sign the Constitution. And yes, the Constitution was a scam. Anything that sets up a government is a scam because there's no such thing as a good or justified government. None. They're all just gangs of bullies. But I am not in favor of pulling down all of the statues and monuments that um, mark history. For one thing, if you tear them down, you're not going to remember the history. And if you don't remember history, you won't learn it. Um, I agree with um, Firefly's Captain Malcolm Reynolds when he talks about all the people that had a statue put up of them. I'll put a link to the comment down in the um, description if you don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I mean, everybody that had a statue was probably scum, especially if they had anything to do with establishing or fighting for a government. But if you erase all of that, then who's going to remember? And not only that, you're just going to make a lot of people angry and give them excuses to to try to make up laws or whatever against you. It's just, it's a waste of time. It's kind of dumb. So I wouldn't, I don't support pulling down the statues and monuments, whether it's of, you know, Confederate stuff or the Constitution conspirators or, you know, founding politicians of the country or, or of other evil systems of government either. I mean, they're all the same, although there are some that are obviously worse than others. None of them are good. But if you pull down the monuments and statues, then it's a whole lot easier to ignore the evil that has gone on in the past and pretend that it didn't happen. You're just sweeping it under the rug. And that's probably a very, very foolish thing to do. So, yeah, this anarchist says, leave the statues and monuments alone. If you want to point at them and laugh or, you know, try to remind people never again, Use them for that, but th there's no point in going to the effort and pulling them down. And that's just my opinion on that. Thanks.